Okay, so we're going to talk about uh, the best uh, window furnishings for insulation. Um, now, the first thing I want to do is just explain that there are actually two different types of heat that are generated that we're trying to keep in a certain place, and those two different types of heats behave differently. So, when you're inside a home in winter and you're heating up the house and, and uh, cooking and doing all the things that you do, all of that heat that's generated is thermal heat. Um, when uh, the sun is shining on your house and beating down on you, all the heat that's trying to get into the house, that's solar heat. Now the thing with window furnishings is, or insulation, is that you need different things to uh, counteract those two different types of heat. So we're going to be talking today about the thermal heat inside. So imagine it's winter in Canberra and you're trying to figure out how the hell can I make the room a bit warmer. <laughs> so here we go. One of the best insulators uh, against thermal heat uh, is curtains and pelmets and the the main point with that is it's curtains and pelmets so curtain without a pelmet doesn't do such a good job but a curtain with a pelmet is one of the best insulation options you can have now how thermal heat works inside your home is when the how the the rooms are being heated hot air rises it goes across the ceiling and then it comes down the wall so if you imagine that this curtain and pelmet here is on a wall your hot air is travelling across the ceiling here and then comes down. Now, the thing on a pelmet that does all the hard work is the thing at the top that you can't see, which is basically a piece of timber or a headboard. And what that does is, is when your warm air comes down the window, if there's nothing there, that warm air will continue down in front of the glass where it will become cold air and then it'll go down to the floor and travel along the floor and that cold air will eventually be reheated. So in a situation where you don't have a pelmet or you have nothing on your, window, on your window, what's happening is that your warm air is turning into cold air and then constantly being reheated. So you're, you're, you're using more energy to maintain whatever temperature you've got set on your thermostat. Now, when you have a pelmet and a curtain up there, when that warm air comes down, that horizontal headboard blocks the air from going down in front of the glass and forces the air out in front of the pelmet fascia and in front of your, your block out curtains. So that air comes down but it remains warm. Now you might get a bit of cold air coming out the bottom but overall your air is maintaining its temperature much better now as a result of having that curtain and pelmet in place. That means if you've got your thermostat set at the same level, um, it'll stay at the same level, but you're going to be using less energy to maintain that temperature because you're not constantly reheating the cold air. And that's pretty much how pelmets work. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, a, a hinge shutter that's fit inside the window frame and how that functions and operates from an insulation point of view. So with hinge shutters, they're great. The first thing about them is that they have their own frame that um, goes around the inside of your existing window frame. And that frame allows for the fitting of the shutter and also provides a light block at the back of the panels. Um, these are a, a poly PVC polymer product. Um, most people are aware that timber is a, is a good natural insulator. Uh, these materials uh, insulate usually 50 to 70% better than what timber does. Um, because they fit inside the reveal, uh, that means the, the top of the window frame basically acts like a pelmet and it prevents any cold air getting behind the window furnishing. So again, when your, your warm air goes across the ceiling and down in front of the, the, um, the shutter, it prevents it from getting onto the glass and becoming cold. Um, there's very little gaps in, in, in shutters. Um, there's very, very minimal gaps around the sides and there's, a, there's very minimal gaps where the blades are. They're not airtight, um, but they're definitely one of the best um, insulators in window furnishings. Now, the other thing about this particular shutter, if you're really serious about insulation, it can come with its own built-in room darkening honeycomb blind. So this blind fits in a frame that sits at the back of the frame of the shutter and functions as a normal honeycomb blind would. Um, but the big benefit here is that when it's pulled down and you close the shutter, you probably, you won't necessarily be 100% no light coming through, but it's going to be better than any other product. You, you are uh, purchasing two of the better products for window furnishings and putting them on the one window, so you're going to get a really, really good result. 
Okay, so we're going to talk about honeycomb blinds, which I used to know a reasonable amount about, but now I'm an expert because I've got them at home and I've got a lived in experience with honeycomb blinds. So honeycomb blinds uh, come in a couple of different fabric types. You've got light filtering and you've got room darkening. Um, so with light filtering fabrics, uh, basically how they, they function is that honeycomb blinds have these cells um, in, in, that they're made of and air gets into those cells and fills up and then the air in the cells is what produces the insulation qualities. These blinds are particularly good at insulating for your thermal heat which is keeping your winter heat inside and not losing it outside. That's what they're particularly good for and um, fitting uh, with your honeycomb blinds if you're fitting them inside the window frame like this one is this is the best way to get uh, uh, maximum insulation because the top of your window frame basically acts like a pelmet and prevents your warm air getting behind the blind onto the cold glass and turning in the cold air. So overall a really good um, insulating option. Where I live in the living areas I've chosen um, light filtering fabrics and the main reason for that is I know that they give good thermal um, insulation in winter so I don't use the, the heater at home every day in winter and um, during summer um, they still give reasonable insulation against the solar, solar heat from outside but when the blinds are closed they don't make the room dark and that, you don't feel like you're in a cave in the middle of summer. Um, because she's still getting some filtered light coming through so I, I find that works really well. So the difference with room darkening fabrics is as well as having the cells that we showed before they also have uh, silver foil inside the lining of the cells and that foil is there to insulate against thermal heat coming in. So just to go over again the differences with the room darkening fabric you don't actually get any light coming through the fabric you always get a little bit of light leakage around the sides but no light comes through the fabric and you've got the cells like the light filtering so you've got good insulation for thermal heat and in addition to that you've got the silver foil inside which is really good insulation for uh, solar heat so a room darkening honeycomb blind fabric fitted inside the window frame like this so the top of the window acts like a pelmet really really good insulation option. So there are a couple of other options with uh, window furnishings but from an insulation point of view not as effective as the other ones. Any product that's got slats in it's going to leak air inside and out um, so they're not going to be as effective and there we're talking about um, vertical blinds over here and also um, panel blinds over here where the, the, the fabric of the blind is actually separate and in slats, which means, you know, just, it just simply by its nature, it's not going to do as good a job.